Okay, dokie. Um, Gil has awakened his blood art, and he's now, you know, let go of his past. New mission for blood, rank three. Time worn milestone, or Raksha, or Yaksha. A filler mission. Let's go. Gil. I was trying to see what the hell his skill is, but it doesn't want to tell me. You are cleared to engage. Operation commence. The link support device is now spreading its effect through the combat zone. With the bonds broken, those are not going to seem like they're active. I missed all those shots. That is sad. Running away already, huh? Look out! Didn't break out of my animation. Oh, no. Bind. Not a very long bind, but still. What are you doing over there, Shield? Tough. If I had known this battle would be so simple, I would have brought a novel with me. But this is just a filler mission. 
need some padding in between the two, all the story arcs. Take some rest. You've earned it. Always gonna check these. Oh, Gilbert said that. That's some reason I thought Hiromi said that. I took care of those origami around the satellite base. The attacks have been ceaseless lately. Yuna's performing at a satellite base. It's not that far from here, but I don't have time to go. Ah, she's probably in her room right now. She's so close, and yet she feels so far away. I hear that more and more people are falling victim to the red rain. There was talk on Friar of studying the rain. I hope they can find a cure. I saw Dr. Rachel for her medical exam. I just wish she didn't always treat me like a child. Though I have to admit, she does her job well. Hi there, do you want anything to eat? That must have been a tough fight. The first unit's god arcs were all busted up. In the end, the repairs took several days. God arcs are resilient, but not invincible. I bet this little capybara is glad to come. It came here too, especially with all the yummy food it gets. Gil's blood power resonates with nearby allies, increasing their attack power. There's my answer. Dr. Rachel calls it Inspire. It's a bold and straightforward power. It suits him well. Oh. You know, I know you must be exhausted, but next up is your visit to the satellite base. Oh, right. I don't mind. Actually, I was hoping to see you soon anyway. I know that big shot in Friar has you running around for him, too. Let's both hang in there. Whew, finally back. Director Grimm had me do a photo shoot for a Godark soldier ad. He was too insistent for me to say no. But I got through it by thinking about how it would help the satellite bases get more supplies. Dr. Sakaki never hangs out in his lab anymore. The satellite bases fall under Cradle's purview. Overt actions by this branch would cause trouble. It appears as if outside forces were acting on their own to found, found satellite bases. Don't out tell HQ. <coughs> Nemus Diana, an autonomous settlement, developed the anti-origami walls used in satellite bases. But now they need a little support. Funds, talent, and technology. And I hope we can help, unofficially. But please, keep it a cigarette from Founder HQ. Man, it's replaying through this so much does in fact line up with how God Eater 3 plays out. It makes so much more sense. Condem- Oh no, Vardra. Condemned. A Vardra that has previously pushed back is lurking in the temple ruins. Pursue it and deliver the final blow. Although it has nowhere left to run, this area is rife with cocoon maids and polar ogre tails. Try your best to avoid the small fry and quickly and efficiently destroy the Vardra. Julius can take a rest and will be Romeo. Yeah, Gilbert can rest too. Uh, Nana. Nah. God eaters are in position. Watch for the enemy at all times. <laughs> I'll show all of you how it's done. I'm patching everyone into Shield's intel. Do, do, do. That's rude.
jamming. Found him. Very bad place to fight him. But this entire map is bad. It's so clamped. I somehow missed both of those shots and shot one of my team members. How could I miss something so big? Snipers are too precise. Oh, hey, hold okay. Really hard to tell what attack he's doing when you're this close to him. And in a corner. Come over here. Come on. First time is ticking down. Idiot. The Aragami is now restrained. It's breaking away. Looks like it's after some food. Hey, Oh boy. <laughs> I don't know why I would be laughing. Oh, I was just sitting there roaring and I just blasted his face. <laughs> Boy, I hate this map. Shield. I did not have time to devour him. Come here. It's all yours. 
right in the face. Die. I hope those counted. Here, I hope this will help. Ooh, mission active. Uh, nothing new. I'm here. I heard that Dr. Rachel studying the Black Plague. She's doing her part in the fight too. Gil is taking to tinkering with his god arc, even with the whole ocean spread out before him. I'm gonna have to give him a little guidance. If you have anything to say to him, you can come. How are you, Vice Captain? I wish we had a little more free time to relax as a team. Did you hear? They're setting up a hospital for the Black Plague victims on Friar. Well, maybe at least. With what they spend on the Garak soldiers, it's the least. Ahem. <clears throat> That's not why I asked you here. The truth is, I need you. I have need of your strength. I want you to protect one of the satellite bases. Just make sure you are aware of what a satellite base is, right? I know what they are. Oh, you've been starting up, I see. Anyway, you know is visiting this base, and she's sent word that an origami pack is coming. In truth, the situation is pretty serious. I'll be coming along, so I'll be counting on you. The yeah, satellite bases were primarily established by Cradle. And they are places outside Friar HQs. Friar bases. They'll become the ports of God 83. First comes the verbal diagnosis, then checking the vital signs. Ugh, I can't believe how late it is. The satellite bases are protected by a cradle. Uh, I think I already read this. Sometimes they face more threats than they have people to cover. That's why we'll need your help. Nope, okay, that was new. Now before we do that, and end this part, I'm going to... Do the mission here. Oh, Vice Captain, I got the summons. I'll head out as soon as I'm ready. I can't deny that we could use more experience. That's why we have to keep on training. Come, Marina. How about some intensive training? Just the two of us. So we can rival the origami. You're unbelievable. How could you go off and do it yourself? Wherever I go, Emil is always there ahead of me. Sometimes I wonder if he's something... If he's somewhere watching me. No, really, I think he has it in him. Yahoo! An urgent mission for real? And Uno's, Uno's in trouble? Better get going, Vice Captain. I'm already set the recording for Cyprus's... I've already set the recording for Cyprus's broadcast. I'm good to go anytime. We've been called. Let's go. Haru invited me out, but that'll have to wait until after the mission. And the mission is going to be on temporary hold. We're going to do the quick version of it. Blood is to proceed quickly to the satellite base to eliminate the origami security knee background. Oh, there they are. Slay some low-level origami. So, it looks like Director Sakaki is our official liaison between the branch and Friar. I guess that means it's up to us to handle all the personal relationships inside the branch. <laughs> we got this. Yes, Captain. Oh, yeah. Hey, dude, if you could do, like, one thing for me, don't 
don't be all formal, yeah? Calling me captain and stuff, it still sounds kind of weird. Let's keep it casual, all right? Like, hey, Coda, what up? Uh, cool, cut. Awesome. That's mostly what I like to hear. Oh, hey, you down to grab some food after the mission? The restaurant here is top notch. That'll be my treat. So, what do you say we go smash these origami and get to the delicious part? <laughs> I probably could have selected the music for this mission. God eaters are in position. Watch for the enemy at all times. The Kill 30. Let's go. I think it's 30. Apparently you guys killed this one. Oops. Just trying to pick this up. There we go. It's annoying when they run away like this. Damn it, I almost got it off. Well hey, hey, hey. Really take some shots. Hey, over here. We're just chilling over here. Man, the sniper shots taking a lot of your OP. This one didn't make it though. Well 
Damn. You know, I wasn't keeping count. We can rebuild. Please, allow me. God, it's so annoyingly close to finishing. Mutsumi, would you make me two of the usual? Coming right up, Mr. Koda. You want it double size too? You know I do. I don't know if you know, but this girl right here is Mutsumi Chikura. She is more than just a chef. She is a miracle worker. We used to eat all this bland crap. Field safe rations and Finver made giant corn products. All that changed when Mutsumi arrived. Real quality comfort food, just like my mom's recipes. But she looks so young. <laughs> flattery won't get you any extra, you know. It's not flattery, I'm serious. The restaurant's been way busier since you arrived. Everyone says so, really. They say it's like eating at home again. <laughs> Sweet, Mr. Koda. Maybe you'll get a little extra after all. Here you go. Sorry for the wait, but I really hope you like it. Oh, sweet, it's ready. Chow o'clock. Oh my gosh, it's so good, right? So good. Right? It's so tempting, but I gotta hold back. Just a bit. I'm still trying to hit my goal weight. East is full of awesome local secret kind of stuff, just like Mutsumi's cooking. You're new, but I want you to see it all. So I'm gonna make it my personal quest to show you the wonders of the Far East. Cool. Uh, it just saved. I'll do it anyway, I'm paranoid. <laughs> Alright, I'm stopping here. Thanks for watching.